I thought I would let you take a look at some of the images that I choose to edit. And by looking at the raw file and then the final edited image, it may give you some idea of how my thought process is. Now, my hit rate of successful images with this type of photography is only about 1%, maybe 2 at best. So if I take 100 images on a day, if I get one good one, I'm doing well. And if I get two, I'm doing exceptionally well. And very often I'll edit an image a couple of days later, I'll have a look at it and think, actually, I don't like that. My editing process is very, very little. Obviously, convert it to black and white. Although in my latest images, I've been uh, letting the camera convert the files to black and white in camera. But I still get the uh, full raw file colour if I need to. I will just tweak it with levels and curves to adjust the contrast. I do a little bit of sharpening. Sometimes I'll put a bit of tiny bit of sepia into them and then crop them if needs be. But that is pretty much it. Very small amount. But by looking at these images that I'm going to show you, the raw file, and then the final edited image, it will give you hopefully some idea of what I look for when going through that day's shoot. So let's take a look at a few images that I've picked for you today.
this will be my last image. I hope this has helped you understand uh, what I look for in an image to edit. This final image is going to be my March print of the month on my website, which if you're not familiar with that, I'm offering each month a print with 40% off the list price. And at the end of that month, it will be removed and never offered again at that price. So if you like this image, and trust me, this image comes alive when it's in print. Yeah, go to my website, go to prints and uh, drop me an email with your requirements and we can help you out. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been interesting to you. And until the next time, this is John Dexter saying bye for now.